Good afternoon guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I don't have much to say about today. Um, no projects got done, no nothing, anything like that. Um, so I don't have anything really to share with you guys. Um, I did finish though everything on my planner for today. I was pretty happy about that. Um, got dishes and laundry done. I ended up getting um, uploaded the vlogs I edited on Friday and um, edited another two today. So I'll have some to upload for tomorrow. Um, I didn't have any, I didn't do any like editing or uploading over the weekend. So, so I am just like, I didn't have anything go up or anything. I'm, I guess I'm not a little behind, but just, um, not as didn't get, <laughs> didn't gain any ground or anything like that. What I did wind up doing though for today was actually, um, I ended up filling up our hummingbird feeders. My mom found at the dollar store, there was hummingbird like mix. Um, although my mom last no I think not last year two years ago um, we got hummingbird feeders just like from the dollar store and she made homemade hummingbird like food from it um, which you can just I'm sure look up a recipe on Pinterest and find like homemade hummingbird food um, but this stuff was like no boil you literally just added it to water and stirred it um, so I ended up doing basically two um, packages and it filled up both of the birds or both of the hummingbird feeders we had three one of them completely broke then today I filled up the two I washed them out and filled them up and I went, I flipped them over and went to go pull, hold them um, from like the, the hanger that was on there and the plastic lid completely cracked to pieces. And I was like, oh great, that's lovely. Happened to the first one and then it ended up happening to the second one. So I think they were just like from like wear and tear and stuff like that being out in the elements for two years now. Um, they ended up cracking and breaking. We, they were only from the dollar store too. So um, yeah, they were um, not like, you know, also the best quality probably. But um, my dad ended up actually fashioning a, um, a uh, like a twist tie, not a twist tie, what's that called? Um, a... Not a little, tw not a little twist tie, but um, like the big um, like tie, tie wrap or whatever it's called. I think that's it. Um, and then use some like wire sort of um to actually make a handle that we can actually hang it up with. So it ended up working, and both of them are hung up outside. So I ended up doing that, which again ended up taking me longer because now I've got to try and figure out. Should have just taken me like a whole of like five or ten minutes to put this thing back together and having to find no new pieces and everything like that. My dad got it all set up and put together. So there's one in the backyard, there's one in the front yard. We've got four shepherd's hooks <laughs> in total. Um one in the backyard is like a big tall one. It holds the main bird feeder, which I also got um filled up then um we have in the we have another one in the backyard that's actually double shepherd's hook that holds the suet and also one of the hummingbird feeders and then in the front yard we have another tall one um which is like the same as the one in the back and that one um has another little um like bird feeder um that we ended up actually I switched them around. There used to be two hummingbird feeders in the front and then one was in the back, but then it broke. Um, so I ended up putting another one back in the back and the one in the front, then I moved this other small little like bird feeder that's actually like a, it's like a homemade one actually my mom got. Um, and we put that one in the front as well because we have a lot of birds that like to hang out in the bush, the burning bush in the front because we don't have any trees. Um, but they really like the burning bush in the front yard. And so um, I was like, there never is food in the front yard. We always have food in the backyard. And we have most, like mainly the bushes are all in the backyard. We have a lilac tree that we got for my mom last Mother's Day, but it's still like tiny. It's like, you know, maybe a foot tall. <laughs> so there's really no birds in there. Um, and then our other, we have two other little bushes, but both of them again are not, you know, big enough really yet to like, you know, house birds like they like to hang out in the burning bush. But the nice thing is, is that right around the spot where we ended up putting our bird feeder in the backyard, on the other side of the fence, our neighbors have burning bushes that are over there as well. 
um so they like to just kind of hang out in there um and they'll hop over get some food and then sometimes go back into the bushes and stuff like that so anyway so um i was like we should put that over there so the tall one is closer to the bush in the front flower bed um and the shorter one we have in the front that is for the hummingbirds and they like the one that's a little bit shorter i've noticed um normally they like to feed closer i think like more like at least to me what i've noticed is that they like to kind of hang out more at like the what would be normal flower height level so we have a mini sort of shepherd's hook that is is about like probably a normal like flower height um that they like to go to so hopefully the hummingbirds will start to notice our um our um you know that we have the feeders filled back up because last year we didn't the only thing is is that the um it's actually clear it doesn't have any like added preservatives or colors or dyes or anything like that which is pretty cool but um you know mainly the the actual feeder is what's really supposed to more or less attract them and it's kind of again faded because of the sun so i don't know if they're really going to notice it a whole lot or not um because of that i was a little disappointed though because i never saw any in the backyard and we do one of the bushes that has started growing is like a trumpet um it has like trumpet flowers and and um, hummingbirds and butterflies both really like that. I didn't notice any hummingbirds or butterflies in the backyard at all. And the bush is pretty much done blooming and most of the like flowers are kind of you know dying off now um and i haven't noticed any so i was kind of a little bummed out about that like me, me and my mom really got that bush because we thought it was going to attract a lot of butterflies and hummingbirds and we didn't see any so i don't know it's not as mature as it's going to get um you know so maybe at some point it will be but it didn't like i said really notice anything hanging out back there really enjoying those flowers so um i was really happy to see a lot of bumblebees though out today um i spent a little bit of time kind of going through some of the garden stuff and things like that on top of that too we have a what looks like a ton of volunteer tomatoes come back <laughs> this year um but in case they don't bear a lot of fruit or any fruit at all you know um we ended up me and my dad got three different um tomato plants at menards this last weekend they weren't super expensive and they didn't have any like cherry or grape tomatoes or anything they were all i think if we got beefsteak tomatoes some other type a slicing tomato i think it was just called um and then also star jet or jet star or something like that i think it was called i think it's again sort of maybe a little more of a roma or plum tomato um but they really didn't have a lot of other varieties beef steak is really the only one that i know of like i know beef steak roma tomatoes plum tomatoes which are normally kind of the same thing um and then cherry grape tomatoes and they didn't have any of those other than the beef steak the other like i said those other two varieties just like regular slicing tomatoes and then whatever that other one was i don't know i don't know how big the tomatoes are gonna get or anything um and they didn't have any of the yellow tomatoes like i we had last year that were really good so that's why i'm hoping some of those come back this year um and they will be um you know we'll at least get some because those those yellow tomatoes were really good um but yeah so again it's going to depend on how those volunteers end up t turning out and or if any of them are actually tomatoes or if we're just weeds but they really do the leaves look identical the the um the like stalk and everything like that looks pretty similar as well um and like all the little branches and stuff so there's a ton of them they'll definitely have to be thinned out um but i was kind of going through there today too our potatoes are looking awesome um and on top of that too we have um what is it uh not we have a couple radishes we have a bunch of beets um and a good little amount of carrots too and then also um what is that other kind of it's not a potato it's sort of like a potato um it's some other type of like underground that was where i planted all of those pretty much and they are all looking really good it is a um turnip that is what it is i knew it's on the tip of my tongue um like you know the root vegetable tubers kind of and stuff like that so that's what i planted mainly in that one bed along with the onions as well um <clears throat> And then we did, were able to get some um, dirt at the at Menards too, so we can start getting our next bed in, and we can do either zucchini or maybe um, you know some of those like um, the ones that's 
kind of spread out a little bit more. I want to try and keep those closer to our house so they don't wind up in our neighbor's yard. Um, so that's why I'm trying to put them in that bed versus the other one. And then the other bed can be, you know, for hopefully shorter things like the spinach, the broccoli, cauliflower, which looks like it's coming up. The only thing is, again, we really need to try and get some mulch in the beds because one, it will help prevent weeds, and two, it will help to um, keep it cool, especially because like spinach, lettuce, and um, what's it called, um, kale, like that kind of stuff is really cold weather crops, and now it's starting to get into June, it's a lot warmer out. Um, <clears throat> Although this actually, this last week really has been, today too, it's only like 70 degrees. It was not hot out really at all. So um, that was the other thing though that was on my planner for the today was to water all of the plants as well. So I went out to the greenhouse and watered all of that, which I'm a little sad because there was maybe a couple days where I didn't get out to the greenhouse to water some of this stuff. And the dill that was coming in beautifully all ended up not making it. Um, the cilantro looks a little sketchy right now and um, it looks like though that the thyme is doing fine and then too the ones that I have in the planter um, is basil, um, the chives I believe that came back from last year um, and then one other thing that I can't remember oh sage I think that all looks awesome and even though it took me a couple days to get out there to rewater this stuff um all of that was doing really good I'm thinking because it was in a bigger pot maybe it was able to absorb the moisture better or something but I want to get them moved out of the greenhouse because they can be out in the yard somewhere we just have to figure out where we want to put them so um yeah I don't know where we're wanting to have them I kind of want to keep them by like the rest of the um, vegetable garden but I'm not really sure where I want them so um, yeah I like I said I'm not totally sure um, the good thing is though is that like while it's growing at least if we can have it somewhere on the ground um you know it since it's in the greenhouse right now nothing is going to try and munch on it which we really I haven't noticed any problems with anything trying to eat any of our anything um we had a rabbit that was actually hanging around um maybe back in may or april um and it was like we saw it at least probably three times um but we saw it out in our main like flower garden and we never saw it over by the vegetable garden and I never noticed anything getting chomped on over there. Um, so I don't think that we've had a problem with you know any rabbits. That would be most likely the only thing we do not get deer around here. Um, and I've seen a fox one time, one time in the backyard. I actually saw it run. Well, the weird thing is I heard our neighbors saying, oh my goodness, is that a fox? next door and I was like there's a fox outside and I went and looked out the back window and sure enough I saw it run across our before we had the fence up I saw it run across our yard and I was like oh my gosh that definitely looks like a little fox that just ran across the yard um but honestly other than birds that's the only wildlife that we get at all um we probably have a bigger problem with like worms and stuff like that last year getting at some of our vegetables and stuff like that um not worms like caterpillars and um like that kind of stuff was getting it some stuff and was eating it um but so far this year i haven't had that problem so yeah i guess that's good but i told you guys too how i actually ended up um we cut down all the stuff in the front flower bed um that i think might have been where they were all like living especially the delphinia um it actually looks like it's done totally fine this year um and i think it's just starting to bloom actually right now i've got a couple of more things that are blooming our rose bush is blooming it is looking beautiful Our columbine already finished blooming. The clematis in the backyard is kind of sporadically blooming. Um, and we've got, um, I don't think they're daisies. And maybe they are daisies. Um, I know they're definitely not black-eyed Susans, but I'm not totally sure. There's something in the front yard that, like I said, I think are daisies that are blooming. And 
the delphinia i think is blooming as well right now and on top of that too um i showed you guys last year we had a little red i forgot what it's called now um there's a like a red plant that was growing in the but well not a red plant it was a green plant with like red like red flowers and it had like yellow also on the flower too it looked really cool but um we had it we planted it in the front yard i don't think or in the backyard in the back flower beds in two spots and i don't think we ever planted in the front yard but for some reason one of them is growing in between the cracks on the sidewalk I don't know how it's happening and it's blooming right now and I'm like I don't know if I should dig this up I don't even know if I can actually get to be able to dig it up or not um but I kind of want to move it and like it's blooming right now though too so it's got two little flowers and it's coming in like right in between the rock and the sidewalk and I'm like I don't know if I can even dig this up to get it out but you know like it's weird like I said I think something must have maybe gotten some seeds or something like that a bird or something and maybe transferred it into the front flower bed um but yeah i don't like i said i don't know it's just it's funny nature is very resilient that way that it will find a way to um you know life finds a way <laughs> so yeah it's currently the one in the backyard isn't blooming but the one in the front is and it's grown in between the cracks and the sidewalk so Anyways, guys, I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, so make sure you guys give Google thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye, guys.